Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, JJ Hoss, a.k.a. Honda G, man. I want to show y'all that I want to do this painting part right here. And the part that I'm going to be painting on the steering wheel is these two parts. And these are gray, and these are about to be changed to red, you know what I'm saying? But the way I see it is that I want to take this part off. And I want to take this part out so I can just paint it correctly and professionally. Because I don't want to just cover this up, this whole thing of this, and just paint it. And it's not going to, you know, come out too right. And then I don't want to paint my stuff, all this stuff, unnecessarily. I don't want to do no sloppy job, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather do stuff professionally, you know what I mean? And I'm definitely going to show you how to get it done. You heard? So this right here is my tool set. And it's all I need, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I have the wrench right here. And then another wrench, you know, this is for disconnecting the battery terminals, negative and positive, either through this or even this, which I feel like is better and more convenient, or sometimes even this, which is a drill and all that. But, and then I have my tools here, and I got the torque tools that's for the steering wheel and stuff like that, which I'm going to show you. So as you can see in this part, I am removing my terminals out of my batteries. Like I said, negative first and then positive afterwards and also you got to wait like 10 to 15 minutes for the power to go out of the airbag and then remove the airbag you know what i'm saying so there's something i have to explain to y'all right i have to disconnect the power of the airbag of the explosive part which is the center like right here the main part I have to disconnect it on the bottom part. The connector's on the bottom, and I'll show you. And there's another connector that I have to show you too as well. But it's right here, look. Boom, you see that? I don't know if y'all can see so it. So this bottom part right here, as you can see, is the connector, the airbag connector. And this has to be disconnected or for you to take out the center of the steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be very, very careful of what you're doing. So now, you gotta disconnect this. You gotta pull this. You gotta pull this part back and then gently pull it. You gotta be careful. There you go. So now, as you can see, the power is disconnected. So now I have to get to the steering wheel center now. So now, in order for you to disconnect the center of the steering wheel, you have to unscrew these two on uh, each side, this side and another side. And those are the torque screws too, so I'm just gonna have to show you. So this right here is a T30 Torx bit that I'm gonna be using to disconnect the sides from left and right, you know what I'm saying? Also, I will be using my drill. So now, since I'm done with this part, now I gotta just take this off real quick because this is loose. And I gotta be careful disconnected it because you see this wire right here? That's the connector, the main, main connector. But it's already disconnected, so I just gotta take it out, make sure I take it out smooth. So you know now, what I'm since this is gone real quick, in order for me to disconnect these two, take these two off, I gotta disconnect the screws in there, right here and right here, and it evens on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but I gotta do it through the back. Pause. You know what I'm saying? So, so as you can see, what I was trying to explain is the bottom part for the trim that I have to disconnect, which is this right here, which I feel like is difficult to do, but eventually it's gonna come off. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you see this, right? It's mad difficult, but I'm getting it out though. You know what I mean? So I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm getting it out. Now the two bottom part came out, which was the most difficult part, but I figured it out like I said I was going to do, so now I got to remove these two now. So now, as you can see, these two things are loose, like I took them off already. So before I take these two things off, I got to make sure that I pull this out because this is the power part, the connector for the horn too. And this is like the controls and stuff for the car and all that, you know what I mean? So I gotta pull this out on this side and this side. As you can see, I disconnect them too. It was easy, so I gotta, I gotta, all you gotta do is pull this off now, 
but gently pull it off. You gotta be careful, you know. Now nah, this side, I forgot to show you, but you gotta, you know, kind of jerk it off a little bit. No homo parts, you know what I'm saying? Boom, there it goes. Took it off, so. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna take this part out, right? The controls, you gotta disconnect this part and this part, you gotta unscrew these two, you know what I mean? So now, over here, I already unscrew these two. And for you to take this control out, you gotta pull the top part, I don't know if you can see it, let it focus. Pull the top part out. Damn, it's hard to do it for one hand. There it goes. That's all you gotta do. It's hard to do with one hand, but I got it now. So before I paint these into red, I have to wash them. Like I'ma just clean it with water, soap, and all. I make sure it's like sparkle clean, and then I'm just gonna paint it. So y'all gonna see what's so up. As you can see, this is clean. Cleaned it right up. Wipe everything down, dust, everything. And I got the paint right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pick it up. Got the paint right here. And this paint right here is, I gotta let it focus. This paint right here, it says wood, metal, plastic, more. You know what I'm saying? Paint plus primer, you know what I mean? And this is red gloss, apple red, you heard? Also, I got this board so I won't paint the grass and nothing like that. So I got this board right here. You know, so I could just protect the grass. So it's time for me to paint this joint, you heard? So while I was painting my trim, I highly mistaken that I painted the grass and I didn't realize it until afterwards, which really sucks. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really, really sorry about that, y'all. So as you can see, there's the paint. I just spray paint it. So I'm gonna let it dry for like 30 minutes, like half an hour basically. And then I'm gonna do the second spray of it so it could come out right. Cause there's some bubbles on it right now, as far as I know, but I'm about to repaint it again. Now, the 30 minutes up. So now I'm about to do the second coat. So this is my second coat of the paint. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a professional professional painter, but I'm moderate because I knew how to paint and I used to take art class. So I definitely knew how to paint, you know? So as you can see, I did the second coat real quick. Make sure that paint comes in properly, you know what I mean? And I gotta let it dry for like at least 24 hours. Make sure it's fully dry before I even install it back into the car. You know, so the paint came out pretty good. So, as you can see, you know, it's light. I had to put some light on it because I know it's dark, but it's gonna stay in the shed for the night let it dry until the next day you know leave that joint when you paint something like this even small something plastic or something big or whatever leave it in a secure area that no dust no wind nothing do not ever paint while it's windy or dusty flying all over you know what i'm saying because you don't want to mess it up you know what i mean so it is what it is and i might have to wait till the next day I so so far it came out pretty good you know what I'm saying as you can see it should is shiny red and all came out pretty good from both of them and I'm about to install this you know in my car in a minute you know what I'm saying so y'all can see what exactly it looked like y'all heard so as you can see everything else empty you know and over here I already got it done. It's completely dry now. So what I'm gonna have to do is put every single thing back together and put everything back and connect all the powers back, especially the horn power right back to where it was. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna definitely guide you to it. As you can see in this video, all you have to do is connect the steering wheel controls right back to the trim where it was and then you have to screw it in on two screws. You know what I mean? So it's really not that difficult, you know?
All right, so look, yo. I'm about to put these back on the steering wheel now. So first, what you gotta do is when you put this on, put this on the bottom, and then plug the power back in to make sure. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta put this on from the bottom, push it in, then plug it back in just to make sure. But I gotta make sure you put it. You gotta make sure you put it in place. Make sure you put it in place. You know what I'm saying? Until you hear this click, boom. Then the same thing on the other side. Boom, plug right there. Until you hear this click. Boom. So them two black screws is supposed to go up here. Up here and up here, both sides. So now as you can see, I did both of them. Boom and boom. So now I gotta do the two bottom part. I'm gonna just show y'all. See this little thing right here? That's what I got. That's the hardest part I gotta deal with, but y'all see. So now what's left for me to do is this. I gotta put this back and this yellow wire right here, I gotta make sure I put it through, my bad. Make sure I put it through here so that way I can connect it back. You know what I'm saying? So boom, this is what I'm talking about over here. Boom, you see you gotta put that wire back like through the left side and then connect the back. You know what I'm saying? So it's on it now. So now you just gotta put this wire back. You just gotta connect this back now. So this part right here, you have to screw the toy screws back in where the steering wheel is on both sides, you know what I mean? So now, you gotta put this clip back on, this cover back on this. That's it. Now lift up the hood. Now in this part right here, make sure you connect the positive back first, screw it back in, and then connect the negative and then screw it back in with the 10 millimeter wrench or pliers or whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? So make sure all the power is on, make sure everything is working right. You know what I'm saying? No airbag is on or nothing, you dig? So now, Everything is plugged back in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna test the horn. The horn still works, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is start the car up. Before I start it up, I gotta make sure there's no, I gotta make sure there's no airbag sign or nothing on there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just turn it on and make sure. My cruiser toe is on. Nothing at all. No airbag on, nothing. Everything is clear. It's a seatbelt because, you know, I'm not really driving, but it's clear, man. Everything is good. Everything is Gucci. And good thing I was successful at doing this. I also want to give a shout out to this dude named Millen Mastracki. The YouTuber, he owns a Honda Accord. I forgot what year is it, but he got a coupe. And then I saw his video that he changed his whole steering wheel to the carbon fiber steering wheel. But before he did that, he painted this whole interior. I'm talking about here and here and here, all that junk red, you know what I'm saying? But good thing I learned from him to be always real with y'all, to keep always stack with y'all and all that. And I want to thank him for showing me because it wasn't really that hard. You know what I'm saying? And me, I know how to work on cars myself, especially Hondas, because they're the easiest cars that I ever know. But I truly want to thank y'all, man, for watching this video. And my thing is working. No airbag light on or nothing like that. All the power is on. Everything is Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So hit the like button. Click the subscribe button. I got more videos coming soon, y'all. I'm off this. Peace.